Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your Freedom Friday message. It may be still Thursday where you are, Aquarius, but the moon is in Virgo, which is a divine feminine energy. It's a divine feminine sign that's ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the messenger planet. It's the communication planet. It also um, is the planet of knowledge and learning. So somebody is starting to learn how to... Uh, uh, quiet your mind to be in receiving mode emotionally. Rem remember um, the moon, that big, you know, celestial, uh, <laughs> big rock out there that's that's in uh, that's um, illuminated by the sun is um, in alignment with, with alignment with our moods, emotions, subconscious habits, our feelings, our need for um, our need for uh, nurturing, right, and protection. That moon, right. So this, this moon in Virgo that we're currently in right now is helping you to be more practical, analytical, and also focus on your health concerns, like be more health conscious, like what's stressing you out. Um, and we know that stress can take you out of here, right? So let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Again, this message is for Freedom Friday for the 23rd of June through the 23rd of July. The Page of Swords, the Empress card, the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and also the Five of Swords. The Page of Swords. We also have the Ten and Five of Swords. All of this swords is connected to air, the element of air, um, and connected to thinking, which is also connected to your heart chakra. So we know that the heart... It has a mind of its own. So you, these are people that you love and you're trying to decide how do I move on without, you know, you know, overthinking certain things and staying away from any negative thoughts that's burning me out. Like somebody has been seriously thinking about loved ones and trying to make some adjustments with loved ones. It's kind of like, you know, parents being empty nesters, like, you know, kind of like, you know, now that you've invested so much in your child or your children or um, you've invested so much in um, mom or dad or, you know, your loved ones, siblings or whatever the case may be, and they're moving on with their lives. And so for a long time, it looks like somebody was just kind of having a struggle or challenge with that, of feeling like you're going to be by yourself. And how is that going to, you know, especially if you've been a person that's the black sheep of the family or you've been talked about a lot. There's been so much hurt, it looks like, just the whole whole idea of detachment for somebody, you know, irritates somebody's demons of insecurity, instability, um, lack of career success, lack of uh, loyalty, lack of patience, lack of, so it was irritating somebody's demons. And this is how I know it was irritating somebody's demons because again, you know, there's a lot, like I said, all of this is coming across your thoughts and you are the smartest sign in the Zodiac, but you're also the friendliest sign in the Zodiac. And so part of it is also like, okay, I've, I've, I invest in these relationships and I allow energies, family members, you know, people that you consider as family, loved ones. Let me just put everybody in loved ones, right? And I've been so hurt and betrayed in the past. I want to make sure before I detach, I want to make sure I'm detaching at a high frequency on a high note, right? And so that's what I'm seeing for somebody. And I do see somebody focusing on their legacy wealth um, more so than anything and staying away from any negative thoughts about things. So I do see a bit of detachment here. You know, like somebody is going through a rebirth. So you're detaching from anything that does not serve your highest purpose, Aquarius. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. So this moon in Virgo is helping somebody to detach from any instabilities in your universe, any um, lack of vitality, lack of loyalty or disloyalty, um, any feelings of lack, lack in prosperity, lack in tenacity, lack in career success, lack in patience. Like somebody is detaching, learning how to detach from the relationships in a very healthy way. So kudos and congratulations to you, Aquarius, for going through your rebirth as stress-free as possible, right? Here we also have the Justice card, the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Princess of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and also the Princess of Swords, right? So this Justice card lets me know that this is about balance. Remember, we're coming up on the first quarter moon phase in Libra, and this is Libra's card. And so somebody is learning how to detach possibly from some past legal um, situations or just like I said, balancing out your scales. This is also masculine energy. It's an air sign, so that's sword energy, right? Somebody's learning how to sever ties with something that 
they have been holding on to. Now, what that also looks like when we talk about being more health conscious, like somebody could have been so stressed out, it could have caused weight gain or weight loss or, or something that was stressing you out. We're talking about this moon in Virgo. You know, and so you're becoming more health conscious. Somebody may be exercising more, drinking more water, eating, eating healthier foods to just release the stress of some things, right? Here we also have the Eight of Swords. And so Eight of Swords lets me know, Eight of Swords is a card of self-sabotage, like um, like a person who who is so uncomfortable with detachment because you've been hurt, you've been hurt so many times. It's almost like a person who assumes the worst and it's almost like, okay, I'm so used to detaching in a traumatic way that the the whole idea of even detaching in a healthy way, I gotta I gotta recondition, like reprogram my mind. Like you gotta write your own programming out, right? So again, your heart is in the right place, Aquarius, but you wanna make sure you're not over giving thought to something that you need to detach from. You really can detach from people in a um, detach from the emotion of over giving thought to it so that you can stay away from unhealthy thoughts. So Again, when I look at the um, Two of Swords here and also the Princess of Swords, I do see that somebody's feeling a lot better. Um, you've removed the scales from your eyes in two situations that you may have been, you know, may have had on blindfolds with or, you know, about or, you know, in denial about or whatever the case may be. And so this is what you're headed towards, the Princess and also the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is the wealthiest card in the deck. So again, you know, not only are you focusing on legacy wealth, but again, the, the King of Pentacles is the wealthiest card in the deck. So again, somebody could be thinking about, you know, do I detach? How can I detach in a healthy way from certain family members that, um, that I don't, I don't want to ruin a relationship. I don't want to end up, you know, with the backstabbing the, you know, so how can I detach, you know, in a healthy way? And that's what I'm seeing for you all. That's what I'm seeing for you all. So like I said, kudos and congratulations for you all. Just like really analyzing things. Like I said before, a moon in Virgo. Virgo is a the I analyze sign. It's a very practical sign. So somebody is looking at things in a very practical way. Like, let me look at a look, let me look at a pattern of behavior, your own pattern of behavior. Do I detach in a in a way that traumatizes me more than I have to be traumatized? Or do I detach on a high note? Like somebody has been so hurt. This is what happened when a person like been this hurt in their lives. And remember, your feelings are valid, Aquarius. But somebody has been hurt so many times during the detachment process. That could have even happened in your birth. Like when you, you know, before you even came to this world, it could have been some kind of like traumatic detachment. Like if somebody were to tell you, you know, there was some kind of a trauma, you know, some kind of trauma you went through, you know, as a child, you may not even be able to connect those two dots or somebody easily detached from you, you know, like somebody didn't want to hold you or they were going through something or something about your energy, you wanted them to detach. So it, it could have happened so many times. That could be just like part of your conditioning, but somebody's learning how to detach in very healthy ways. So like I said before, Aquarius, congratulations to you all for just being mindful and saying, okay, when I look at a pattern here, um, how can I, in my own rebirth, learn how to detach in healthy ways where I'm still able to, I don't have to repay hurt with hurt. Like if a person says to you, like, you, you know, that wants to date you and you're not interested in dating them and you say to them, you know, thank you, but I'm good. And they're like, well, why? Well, what's wrong? Even if for them, they're used to detaching in a very traumatic way. Well, what, what, what did I do? I'm not your type. I feel like I wasted my time, that kind of thing. It's like, listen, we're just not on the same frequency. Again, the your cool, calm, collected demeanor is like, you know, I'm not going to uncover my water and give a whole lot of emotion to what I already thought of logically. And I looked at a pattern here and I saw this just does not align. Same thing in your workplace, same thing in everything. So all of this is going, you know, you are, you are applying this to your rebirth here, Aquarius. So like I said, congratulations, congratulations. We also have the page of coins, the king of swords, five of swords, king of cups, the hierophant card, and also the king of wands, right? The Hierophant card. So, um, oh, wow. Okay. Let me get back to this in just a second. Here we have the Five of Swords. Um, so every time somebody thinks about something from this came out twice, every time somebody thinks about something, um, 
and think about um, how you how you detached and how you are learning how to detach. Okay, let me tell you what's coming in before I pick up the other cards. I want I want you all to again only take what resonates with you because this is not going to apply to everybody. This is not going to apply to somebody who doesn't have kids, right? Because we're seeing a pregnant person here. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Even if you're on the cusp of Aquarius and uh, Pisces and Aquarius and uh, Capricorn, I'm talking to you. Even if your MCIC is Aquarius, you, you know the drill, right? I'm talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. But somebody may have um, had a child with a Taurus that it could have ended, you know, like you may have released the Taurus. And so at this point, somebody is not only releasing emotions with that person you could have been in a had a baby with. Or, um, and the person could have to, it could be their sun sign, moon rising, Venus, somewhere in that chart where it was just like a fixed sign you were fixated on, you know, your emotions, they could have been fixated on their emotions, but it looks like somebody's child could have picked that same energy up from that side of the family that you're trying to learn how to detach in a very healthy way. It could be for somebody like they picked up some of the same characteristics or character traits that their the other parent picked up and and as a fixed sign you, it's easy for you all to get all fixed signs are loyal to whatever they're loyal to right so you could be you know whatever but now you're saying now that you are operating in your purpose is like i'm loyal to source so even if my child picked up on the same care they pick up that same energy from the other parent and that other parent is stubborn or you know uh focused on um, the finer things in life or, you know, because when we're talking about when we're talking about Taurus, Taurus is ruled by Venus. Taurus and Libra, these two signs right here are ruled by Venus, right? And so Venus is the goddess of love. When you think about Venus, you're thinking about aesthetics. You're thinking about love. You're thinking about art and music. You're thinking about um, you're thinking about um, pleasure, you know, things that uh, erotic love, sexual desires, beauty, romance, attraction, uh, you know, like I said, aesthetics. So you know how like sometimes, you know, parents have kids with the other parent. It's like no matter how much you pour into them, they could still pick up on some of the same things that the other parent picked up on that can really remind you of like, okay, wow. Uh, and then somebody's trying to release something emotionally, but in a very healthy way of detachment, right? So source is saying, separate, separate the two. Because like I said, there's two situations here that when you think about it, you get frustrated. It actually causes you to come across as hostile Aquarius. And source is like, it doesn't have to be that way. There are two separate situations going on here. Whether you have a child or not, or somebody could remind you of an ex or somebody could, an uh, ex-friend, ex-colleague, ex-somebody, something reminds you of something that was like a, a traumatic detachment. And so Source is saying, now that you are on the other side of something that was meant to destroy you, really, and you're still standing, it's time for you to learn how to invest more into yourself, right? Because again, I'm talking about like invest in your business, invest in whatever, because there's a lot of wealth here. And so Source is like... Um, you know, you you can now, here we have the King of Cups, very wise. We have the King of Swords and also the King of Wands. All of this is very royal energy. Like Swords is saying, never step down off of your throne. You have a lot of great ideas. You are in co control of your emotions. You know, you are also in control of your thoughts. You're wise and you're very knowledgeable, Aquarius. So Swords is saying, you, this is the person that you are now. So you know how to detach in healthy ways without, like I said, you know, you may be tempted to, you know, um, you know, think negative about certain things if somebody's at attaching one thing to the other. But source is saying, no, you got to separate those things and recognize whatever your influence. Remember, every time you give somebody access to your universe, they're also influenced by you. They're influenced by your water and your air. So here we have the King of Cups. So somebody's definitely king of their emotions. Remember, we don't have control over other human beings at all we don't have control over other human beings at all so this is where you're saying um i'm detaching you know from from some feeling that's, that could have been wearing you out emotionally draining you or wearing you out 
page of wands. We have the four of wands. We have the judgment card. We have the empress card, the devil card, and also the king of swords. And so you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses um, because of how you're detaching from things. And so sources saying judge, judgment and and justice is in your favor. I do see somebody celebrating something. If it's a court situation, I see somebody celebrating something. If it's not a court situation, sources saying it was your demons trying, either way, your demons trying to keep you attached to something. So I do see you said you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses by releasing something that could have op caused you to operate in the flesh. And operating in the flesh for you would maybe just say something or do something that could have cut it could have caused another uh, traumatic detachment, right? So again, I do see somebody feels like a huge weight has been lifted off their shoulders because again, you really thought this through. I need to emotionally detach from something. You know, I need to be able to sit down and analyze it in a very practical way. I need to see if this is affecting my health. I still want to be here to see a lot of wealth here on earth. And I do have legacy. I do have a purpose here. And there's a lot of wealth attached to that where I can create jobs and opportunities for people and those kind of things. So we have the Empress card coming out twice. So there's some kind of a detachment, like a, a detachment from two energies. Emotionally, you're detaching from two energies. So here we have the King of Swords. One may be physically detaching, but from, for another, you're emotionally detaching from it. So if, if for some of you all, it could be both physical and emotional. King of Swords came out again, right? Twice, right? Somebody is very knowledgeable now. Like I said before, it could be a parent. It could be a child, an adult child. Somebody is like piecing together parts where it's no, no longer a traumatic um, uh, closing out of cycles. Here we have the page of... Uh, the page of wands. So this lets me know that like some kind of new inspiration came across your path. And the new inspiration is more or less like source. Remember, everybody should be just kind of relaxing right now because we haven't even gotten to the first quarter moon phase. We are literally still feeling the effects of it's kind of crossing over. And we know that the moon waxes and wanes. So one day the moon is in this zodiac sign. Now this is in this zodiac sign. So the we had the moon in uh, Cancer. Then we had the moon was in Leo. Now the, the moon, you're feeling the effects of the moon in Leo and also in Virgo. So Leo, like you, is a divine masculine sign. So that was where somebody was getting fired up and just kind of feeling some kind of way or emotionally drained or exhausted about something. But now it's in receiving mode. And so that receiving mode is those messages that Virgo is being ruled by Mercury, sending you messages, having you to carefully analyze why you feel the way you do or why you have emotions when it comes to certain energies, the way that you have those energies, right? So the, the fact that you're that the fact that you're putting in the work, Aquarius, is huge because a lot of people don't want to know why they feel the way. That's how people start making like, you know, um, that's how people start um, like kind of getting fixated on, I don't like this zodiac sign. I don't like that particular zodiac sign. They just go on by like the physical, but somebody again is raising their frequency and saying, no, I'm understanding it from, I have an innate spiritual understanding of things. A lot of it has to do with influence. Once you give somebody access to your universe, you're giving them access to you, your spirit, you know? So that's what people have first impressions. And so source is saying, now that you you are okay with moving on from something, now it's your time to thrive, Aquarius. So congratulations. Congratulations for being the king of cups, king of swords, you know, the king of wands, king of pentacles. Like you're in every, in every area I'm seeing very, you're like at the top of, like top of your, you know, your universe. King of cups came out twice, like I said your emotions are intact. Somebody has such an innate spiritual understanding. It came out twice. Somebody has such an innate spiritual understanding of things. If other people from your past want to be fixated on that's who you are and that's why I don't like Aquarius or people who have Aquarius in their birth chart, that's let them have at it with themselves. That's between them and their, you know, their, their higher and lower self. Their, that's their internal warfare. But for you, you're saying, okay, now it makes sense. And so somebody definitely has a loved one, someone who has transitioned, saying, toss out all the bitterness and recognize that you don't have control over another human being. All you can do is when you give them access to your universe is, you know, show them your best selves, your balanced out best selves, right? So that's the direction you're moving towards. So definitely closing out cycles airtight. Definitely closing out cycles airtight. 
remember when we're talking about other people we're talking about they have influences wherever they go they influence in a grocery store influence in at school influence wherever so that's what source is trying to help somebody with so kudos and congratulations congratulations to my aquarius so again somebody's definitely you know celebrating something like moving on from something um and then like i said any negative thoughts of something of just like whether it's a court case or not you know you i'm seeing win for you aquarius you know it's like a double win for you because again you because of that innate spiritual understanding of things so um try not to stress yourselves out you're moving forward towards you know a, a wealthier lifestyle because a lot of information has been coming in we have the eight of diamonds here so it's not just eight streams of income it is eight incoming like messages like a lot of messages coming through like sources like you got you're here on earth for a reason you got purpose you got purpose you got purpose right and so stay focused on your purpose your life purpose and continue investing in yourself because again more money is coming across your path and so you don't want to be so remember whenever you are asking god for one thing god is saying okay what are you willing to sacrifice and so something has to something has to end in order for something to begin so the overthinking the worrying the you know thinking about you know going to from one extreme to the next right remember at a low frequency the lowest frequency you all are extremist right and also can be very stubborn at the lowest frequency so you know if, if I don't, if they don't tell me what I want to know, I'm just cutting them off. Forget all of that, you know, that kind of thing. And these are people that you love. So sources like extend grace because again, there's definitely influence. They have been influenced, you know, family members have been influenced by other people and decide what works for your universe and what doesn't. So we also have the six and 10 of spade. I thought I saw another spade. Yeah, six and 10 of spade. Um, somebody is moving on from something and not giving a whole lot of you know with no regret whatsoever and also we also have the tenor space right like i said somebody has dealt with a lot of um backstabbing and talking about you and smear campaigns so much so and this is why i mentioned to you all before aquarius even though you all are no respect or person now it's time to start really being the your gatekeeper of your own universe you can still be you can still be no respect or person in terms of harshly not harshly judging people, but carefully vet energies. Like you're wise enough at this point. That's what you got the King of Swords twice. Carefully vet energies. And um because there could be some conversations going on about you behind your back. And whether people are committed to saying, Oh yeah, that's just how Aquarius is, or whatever the case might be, it's outside of your universe. So you're saying, well, I mean, if, if that's that's the karma that other people are called, you know, bringing on themselves, whether it's good or bad karma, that's the karma they're bringing on themselves. So, and remember with that sword energy, if you are saying, I'm, re I'm releasing myself from the responsibility of certain things, let's say for instance, you are a um, you are a parent who was funding your child's lifestyle, or you were you know paying for a sibling's um, like helping them with their rent, or you know um, let's say you 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 had a um, you felt like it was a healthy romantic I mean not romantic but it was a healthy relationship with you and an ex. And now you're ready to date somebody new. And so you're scaling back. You're not giving them as much face time or air time or whatever. Somebody's always going to feel that sore. Somebody's going to always feel like so there's going to feel loss, right? Especially when you're the one that's holding the sword and you're the one that's holding the sword. You're the one that's holding the cup of water. You're the one that's holding the fire. You're also the one that's holding, you know, the soil, right you're you're holding the earth it's your universe right so you are in control in every element of your life every aspect of your life you are in complete total control like literally at the top this is king energy throughout your so some people are going to feel some kind of way here we also have like i said the six you know like i said the six of swords um i see you moved on and and you're not looking back like this is no regret whatsoever because you have carefully dissected every feeling in your universe and, and start and if it got to a point where it's affecting your health Aquarius then you're like no nah, I, I don't need that in my universe at all so we also have the king we have the king of wands um twice so this is king of ideas 
you know so somebody definitely went through a situation that's why you see so much air here somebody definitely went through a situation where you had no choice but to learn the lesson whatever that lesson was like you had to really learn the lesson that it said okay to detach because your heart was so um it looked like somebody has really really a good heart and you really mean people well almost but it's to your detriment though like somebody don't know when somebody didn't know now you do but somebody didn't know when to detach without it being like a you know how like it like a like a like a dramatic detachment or a traumatic detachment you know how like sometimes people have to have this big blow up fight before they end something instead of but the 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 you today aquarius is like I'm such a thinker. I'm making sure that my water is so clean and I'm making sure I'm taking time to be in receiving mode of messages. This is part of the balance. This is part of this right here, this this uh, Libra card, because we're coming up on the first quarter moon phase in Libra. I'm keeping my universe balanced so that I don't come across as overbearing to people. Like, I got the answer. I got, if you would just do this, then this, this is how things would work. It's just like, okay, live and let live. But if you want access to my universe, you are under, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. So... If it's causing me, you know, issues with my, if it's causing me to, you know, health issues, mental or physical health issues, and I got to overthink this and I'm stressed out, I got to release it, but I'm releasing it in love. We also have the six of wands here. So I'm seeing victory in your cards. Victory, victory, victory. So like I said before, again, it's, it's like I said, you're at the top of everything in your universe. You're just at the top of it. And a lot of people are not going to be able to handle that. I'm telling you, they won't be able to handle it because there are going to be some people from your past, a lot of people from your past who are going to assume that you're that person. But they don't, they may not even understand it. For some of you all, you came into the world traumatic. It was a dramatic entrance into the world, that ascendant, right? Find out what your ascendant sign is your ascendant sign like like somebody could care way too much somebody could feel things so deeply that it's hard to detach until a person just violently rips themselves out of your life right you know that kind of thing so let's let's get ready to close this out aquarius let's get ready to close this out but like i said kudos and congratulations to you all somebody has been putting in some hard work to get back to their throne. And now that you're on that throne, I'm telling you, your response to people are gonna be so different than it used to be. You could, because you're such a smart sign Aquarius, I'm quite sure some of you go back, if you if you had, I hope you all have just deleted all that stuff. But if you were to think about how you had these, these verbal sparring matches with people, you know, sometimes, or exchange and text messages, you'll be just like, wow, I was exhausting myself. I could have just used my sword and just cut that person. Why did I go back and forth with all that? Why did I cuss that person out? Why did I read them fulfilled? Why did I go in on them like that? Like, what? and then, you know, you look around and it's, you know, all of these bodies laid out because you just like came through with the sword just like that. And so leave it all in the past forgive every last one of them because again they will not see why you had to get to a point of pulling out your sword but somebody is just not interested in that anymore so congratulations to you or somebody is like literally like you know i know i have a good heart maybe i was overdoing it maybe i loved or cared too much about situations but i'm not doing too much i am not doing the absolute most anymore here we have create art again this is going to have some something about your your money um this one and seven is eight something having to do with art is going to make somebody very very wealthy you could be designing tarot cards that could be art you could be a, a spoken word artist you could be a singer you can be a whatever but something about the energy that you give it is going to give off is balance like the world is craving balance right the world is craving you know peace the world is craving peace. And so anything that is disrupting your peace at this point, Aquarius, you don't want to have anything to do with it. Invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you, Aquarius. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready, God. Pursue me. I'm finally ready. Pursue me. Because while while somebody is on the other side of a rebirth, remember, it's death rebirth, right? So there's still some mourning. There's still some grieving of something from somebody that you love deeply, deep, 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 you love them. And, and so um, creation, number six, 
It can be a parent or it can be a child or it can be both, right? Through the darkness, I crossed and still found myself in the presence of life, right? This is where for somebody, it could be somebody's child, adult child, or someone's parent, or it could be both, where somebody says, you know what, I got what I needed. I got all the nourishment that I needed in the womb, right? And so now it's time for me to thrive. Or I gave all the, if you're the parent, I gave all the nourishment that I needed while they had access to my universe and they still have access to my universe. So I'm going to make sure my water is clear. So it's all love. It doesn't have to be, like I said, a detachment, you know, where it's a violent one. But if on the other end, they're trying to bring that kind of energy because they've been influenced by other energies out in the world. If they're trying to bring that into my universe, I need you to stop right there at that front door. You won't be passing through. Um, so that's how I'm seeing for somebody. So looks like someone has come a long way. Looks like somebody has come a long way. But nevertheless, lots of, uh, like I said before, you know, legacy here. Lots of legacy, lots of legacy, lots of legacy here. Bring love into the situation. That's right. That's why I was talking about. Bring that clear, fresh water into the... This is where you really sit down and give yourself a, an assessment, like in a self-assessment, like when you're working and you say, okay, this is what I brought to this organization. Then you're saying, this is what I brought to other people's lives. You know, I have a great heart. I'm open-minded. I'm intelligent. We're not talking about book smarts. I mean, you could be a person who loves to read, an avid reader, but I'm open-minded. I'm fair-minded. You know, I'm a humanitarian. I'm very creative. I'm free-spirited. You know, I'm friendly, I'm unique, I'm independent, I'm original, I'm progressive, I'm a very powerful energy. I know that now, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius, instead of, you know, but this person didn't do this or that this person didn't do that or that this whatever, whatever. You're going along with God's flow, right? So that water is fresh and clear. See this right here, this water bearer right here? You're pouring into yourself. You're pouring into yourself, but again, through your self-assessment. So if you if people are committed to believing something about you, Aquarius, it's outside of your universe. That's something that they're gonna have to go in with themselves and extend compassion. You know, so like I said, you're at the top of everything in your universe here. So congratulations to you for making it to the other side. Let me see if we got the numbers. Where's the the number? Let's see what your number is and let's get ready to close this out. Let's see what your number is and let's go ahead and close this out. 21, I am inspiring. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed, Aquarius. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to the most prized projects. That's right. That's another thing to add to your self-assessment. I am inspiring. You've inspired so many people to go in, Aquarius, within themselves and seek the light within themselves. So one of the things that I'm seeing in your cards here is that somebody has learned how to, when your assignment is up in people's lives, is to move on. You've done the best that you could do with the time that you had with people. And so you got to rest on that. It's like, a you know, like sometimes, you know, parents and it, it could be your parents, it could be mine or whatever. You feel like, you know, your parents will call you every 15 minutes. Are you okay? Did you eat? Are you breathing? Are you doing this? Are you doing, or, or at least loved ones could be calling you every, like almost as if they don't believe that the influence that they had in your life actually worked. Like the positive influences that they had in your life actually worked. It's like, they're just holding on. Like, I, you know, I, I gotta, you know, um, you know, and so I do see, like I said before, somebody has an innate spiritual understanding of, um, the love because somebody, like I said, somebody's definition of a lot of things are different than yours. Love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness. There's some people who still are not able to detach from you cutting them off. They, they it's, it's, it's really, it's like, it's just like they're, that's a blockage for them. I can't believe, you know, Aquarius cut me off. Some of your friends are still talking about people that, or, or acquaintances. I can't believe they just cut me off like that. I can't believe they ghosted me. They still considering it ghosting and you haven't talked to them in 20 years. It still hasn't registered that 
ghosting would be like, okay, you just pop up and just like Casper, a ghost, you put pop up, reappear and then disappear, right? For them, you haven't talked to them 10, 15, 20 years and they still telling people you ghosted them. So it's a lot of people are still trying to wrap their heads around it. And, and so, but you, you have it, you understand, you understand. So affirmations for strength, all obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. Yep. Improvement is my only concern. Let's pull one last card and let's close it out, Aquarius. Let's pull one last card and let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. You know, some um, for you, it's a win-win. For you, it's a win-win because you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. So if anybody feels like, you know, there's always been this tug of war and I've won, even if you feel like, you know, for somebody, uh, like one reading I saw, like, uh, um, and I don't know if I uploaded this video for you all, but one reading I saw where like somebody felt like they caused you to quit a job or, you know, something like that. But what God had for you on the other side was much better than the stress that you were dealing with, like your, your money tripled. Everything increased exponentially for the good for you when you left certain situations. But they could still be telling people, oh, I, I forced, you know, Aquarius out of a job or I did this or somebody could feel like it's a tug of war between you and, you know, the child. Like you hear about the story in the, in the Bible um, where the, the two, the, it was the, there was a baby and there was two women claiming to be the child's mother. And one parent, the one that we knew, we know now was not the actual birth mother said, let's just cut the baby in half. But the other one was like, no, I, I, I would not hurt my baby that way. Right. And so again, somebody is still living in that fight mode. Like for them, a detachment has to be traumatic. That's not where you are. You've moved on. So when I say win-win, that's an understatement. Giving yourself time to, to just be is essential to fulfilling your mission as a human being. That's a quote by Oprah. So yeah, so that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, happy Freedom Friday to each and every one of you all. This video may go up. And like I said, somebody should absolutely feel free. You know, free of, you know, learning how to detach from things in a healthy way versus, you know, in a, in a traumatic way. But you can, for somebody, you can trace it all the way back to when you were in the womb yourself and being, you know, that detachment being traumatic and then also bringing it forward to all of your other relationships. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. And I will see you all on, make sure I didn't miss, it, miss anything. <laughs> make sure we got everything here. Did I get everything, 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 Ever Hold on, let me see, hold on. Let me just make sure we got everything. Let me see something here. Let me see if we can get a little bit more cards here. Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. That's what I'm seeing for you all. And that's where part of the celebration is too. And also feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Like I said, somebody has a new and exuberant love coming across their path. It's just a lot of wonderful things. It's like all good news. But somebody had to really go back in. And this That's why it's so important to sit down and be in receiving mode of messages. Like somebody may want to get out today and do some kind of earthing, some kind of grounding where it's starting to make sense to you. And you look back at the, the, the detachment of the relationships. Um, here we have the King of uh, the King of Wands. We also have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Spades. We also have the Ace of Spades, and also the King of the King of Hearts. So again, still very royal energy here. Somebody is back, definitely back on their throne in all aspects of your life. We have the King of Wands here again. Somebody is like you know feeling like they're King of idea, triple King of ideas. Somebody is feeling happy, charismatic, and free. This is the Queen of Wands. We also have the Queen of Spades. Somebody is carefully vetting all the information that's coming through you. I mean, but carefully keeping all the negative energy behind lock and key. We also have the King of Hearts here. Still very wise, right? Ace of Spades right here. This lets me know that somebody's asked themselves, what was the motive? Like, what was the reason? What was the reason why every... Um, any any relationship that I had to leave behind that I loved had to end so drastically or traumatically and that kind of thing, right? Like, why wasn't I catching the signs? Why was I, you know, why did I overgive my energy to it? And so somebody is on a different 
frequency now at a much higher frequency because you have an innate spiritual understanding of things. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.